Navier Stokes equations prove. In Navier Stokes existence and smoothness problem concerns the mathematical properties of solutions to Navier Stokes equations, a system of par partial differential equations that describe the motion of a fluid in space. Solutions to Navier Stokes equations are used in many practical applications. However, theoretical understanding of the solutions to these equations is incomplete. In particular, solutions of the Navier Stokes equations often include turbulence, which remains one of the greatest unsolved problems in physics, despite its immense importance in science and engineering. Even more basic properties of the solutions to Navier Stokes have never been proven. For the three dimensional system of equations and given some initial conditions, mathematicians have not yet proved that smooth solutions always exist, so that if they do exist, they have bounded energy. This is called the Navier Stokes existence and smoothness problem. <coughs> Since understanding the Navier Stokes equation is considered to be the first step to understanding the elusive phenomenon phenom turbulence, the clay mathematician says this is one of the great problems. Proof or give a counter example of the following statements. In three space dimensions time, given an initial velocity field, there exists a vector velocity and a scalar pressure field, which are both smooth and globally defined. <coughs> they serve the Navier Stokes equations. Definition Duality Duality is a tool to understand a particle which is organic enough that it has maximum entanglement entropy. If the particle is organic enough, so the natural happens among the entire body of particle, and the particle has duality, which means two contrary properties are true in one system. The system can be well understood within feedback system. Feedback system is a good tool to understand duality. Definition Entropy Entanglement entropy is a good tool to measure how much two regions are entangled. The maximum entropy is limited, which is the value for duality to exist. And I'll show that what is entanglement entropy. Consider a quantum system that is divided into A and B, two parts such that the full Hilbert space can be represented as the tensor product of the Hilbert spaces of A and B. A typical wave function of this system is psi, and each A and B in the state psi are entangled since psi cannot be written as a simple product of those A and B. Entanglement entropy is a measure to quantify how much A and B are entangled. Define the reduced density matrix of A by tracing of a B state is in Xi, the entanglement entropy is defined as this. From the definition, an obvious corollary is this. Indeed, for any pure state Xi, we can, we can always write it as this. By geometric composition of Xi, in some complete set of S, A and B, it follows that S A is S B. For A B composites system in a mixed state, in general we have S is not SB. In such a case, entanglement entropy typically contains classical statistical correlation of the mixed state in addition to quantum field correlations. Here are some examples. A two-spin system. You can have a state that is not entangled. However, the state is entangled. For this state, the reduced density matrix for A is this shows entanglement entropy is this. We see as A, I mean, Entanglement A has period of this. The minima are S is 0 when theta is n pi over 2 and maxima are S A is log 2 when theta is n pi over 2 plus pi over 4 where n is integral. A maxima of state psi is most integral. We list some important properties of entanglement entropy as follows. Suppose A, B, C are three parts of the system without any intersection between any two of them. We have subadditivity and strong subadditivity. Entanglement entropy plays an important role in the quantum information and quantum computation as it provides quantitative measure of quantum correlations that are not present classically. Entanglement entropy in many body systems. Consider a system AB if Hamiltonian is H equals HA plus HB, then the ground state is unentangled. Moreover, starting with a generous entangled state, the system will remain unentangled. 
if we add coupling between A and B, H is a J plus HB plus HAB, then the ground state is generally entangled. Suddenly, starting with an initial unentangled state, entanglement will be generated during time evolution. In all realistic condensed matter systems and quantum field theories, HAB is local. Heisenberg model and five of four powered quantum field theory. Locality implies that the inter intersection interaction only happens near the interface of A and B. So HAB only inverts degree of freedom near DA and DB. This has important implications. Locality of in interactions. One finds in general in the ground state for local Hamiltonian entanglement entropy is given by this, where epsilon is the latest spacing for CM system or short distance cutoff for quantum field theory, which characterizes the geometric width of interface. This formula shows that entanglement entropy between A and B is dominated by short range entanglement near DA, where HAB is supported, where while sixing appears to be universal, sharp is not. Depending on short distance physics of specific systems, for the subleading order terms, the excitement of last decade on entanglement entropy shows that they come from large range entanglement and can provide important characterization of a system. Characterized topological order 2 plus 1 dimension in typical gap systems, ground state contains only short range correlations. In topological order systems, ground state contains long range correlation and not accessible via standards of servers such as correlation functions of local operators. The entanglement entropy for such a system is this, where gamma is not zero is topological order, a constant independent of shape and size of A. To characterize the number of degree of freedom of a quantum field theory for a 1 plus 1 dimensional CFT, there is no leading contribution, and one finds this, where C is central charge and R L is the length of A. We know C contains the information of number of degree of freedom of a two-dimensional CFT via Cardi formula. For two plus one dimensional CFT, we want to find this, where gamma depending on the shape of A can be used to characterize the number of degree of freedom. Similar research can be found in other dimensions. Holographic entanglement entropy. Suppose we have a CFT with a gravity dual. How can we calculate entanglement entropy on gravity side? As shown in the picture below, we propose to find the minimal area surface of gamma which extends into the bulk with DAS boundary and entanglement entropy is given by this. This formula was first guessed by Liu and these who were motivated by black cross entropy. Minimal area. There are some support for this formula. One satisfy the strong subjectivity conditions. Two, reproduce known results about entanglement entropy. Three, give many new results that are, are sensible. While easy to define, entanglement entropy is very complicated to compute for a general many body system. Even for a free quantum field theory, the computation is highly non trivial and often numerical calculations are needed. RT provides a very simple way to compute entanglement entropy in a class of strongly interactive quantum field theory. Here are proofs of strong subjectivity. In figure 3a, we can classify this. And by definition of minimal surface, uh, which implies this, in figure 3b, we also have this. And by definition of minimal surface, this, which implies this. Now we can apply this formula to 1 to 1 plus 1 dimensional CFT, whose duality state is 3, where the matrix is this. We know each CFT is characterized by a central charge C, uh, density of state. And the trace uh, normally gives this, where R is rich scalar for holographic CFT, the central charge is given by this. On the gravity side, or we, like Wilson rule, we consider a constant time slice where the matrix this on the minimal surface is a function of xc. And the difference in length of the surface is this, because the right half is this, and extre extreming it leads to the random answer, the half circle with c0. Finally, we get integument entropy where upsilon is the cutoff to regularize the divergence. Clearly, this region agrees with the calculation for CST. In finite temperature, we may discuss the connection to black hole entropy. Consider the CFT on the circle. We should recover black hole entropy if we take 
A to be the whole boundary space between my definition. Because by definition, as the thermal entropy, and in this case, the reduced density matrix is the same as the real density matrix of A. Indeed, graphically, the minimal surface is just black hole horizon and black hole entropy is recovered. Generally, if the minimal surface is always perpendicular to boundary area law can be proved in the edges in arbitrary dimensions. RT formula not only provides the simple way to calculate entanglement entropy, but more importantly, it implies some connection between space-time and geometrization of quantum entanglement, geometry, and quantum information. In the end, we may expect the unified paradigm. Network within fractal Network within fractal. Consider a quantum system that is divided into A and B, two parts such that the full Hilbert space can be represented as the tensor product of the Hilbert spaces of A and B. A typical wave function of this system is Xi, in which A and B is the state Xi are entangled since Xi cannot be written as a simple product of those, a, those of A and B. Entanglement entropy is a measure to quantify how much A and B are entangled, define the reduced density matrix of A by tracing over all B state in Xi. The entanglement entropy is defined as this, from the definition of obvious corollary is this. Indeed, for any pure state Xi, you can always write it as this. By switch the composition of Xi into some complete set of A and B, follows that as A is, not as B. For a big composite system in a mixed state, in general we have S as not as B. In such a case, entanglement entropy typically contains classical statistical correlation of the mixed state in addition to quantum correlations. Here are some examples. A two-speed system, we can have a state that is not entangled. However, the state this is entangled. For this state, the reduced density matrix for A is this, just entanglement entropy is this, we see uh, as A has period pi over 2 and the minima are as A is 0 when pi is n pi over 2 and maxima are as A is log 2 when zeta is n pi like this. And maxima the state psi is most entangled. So when as A and as B are same, the state A and B are not a simple product but integral state. And this means when two events have integral entropy from A, we can know the integral degree between A and B, which means how A causes B. So from SA, we can know how A causes B from SB, we can know how B causes A. And when SA and SB are said that A causes B means B causes A equally. So when there is integral entropy, there exists inverse causality which has same amount with causality. As a conclusion, when two states are organic to have integrable entropy, the causality and inverse causality are the same amount. So when causality and inverse causality are the same amount, we can define the relation between two is organic. And when maximum integrable entropy exists, zero happens, as you can see above. And the shape of network will see a test fractal structure because the shape of the minimum area and maximum area is the same, like above. Now we can do Navier-Stokes equations proof. All functions from 3D to 3D have analytic answers, so we should prove it works even on micro world. So we need definition of particle first. Object is a particle if and only if it has duality. And duality is always possible when there exists part maximum integral entropy, which is always satisfied with enough time. And in this equation, particle is an object which firstly has duality. So particle in particle doesn't count. And define the particle should have fractal structure because the structure below 3D can be fractal arrays. And hologram theory says all information is recorded in two dimensions when all information is integral entropy maximum. There is a network near the surface of CFT with a shape of string, and the shape of network has fractal structure which has dimension between 2 and 3, so it is obvious that an object which with a maximum integral entropy, there always exists fractal structure related to the network, and with a proper strategy, the shape can be altered to what you want because we can define the birth inside. Then we can solve this equation. First, the movement of finite particle always satisfies NS equation because it is defined in 3D vector field. And we define the particle should follow fractal structure, so the movement inside particle should follow NS equation. 
So we proved NS equation.